Okay, guess what? I just rode 11.9 miles thinking that my GoPro was on so that I could see how my Rion curve throttle works because this was the first ride that I made with the throttle. I've done, I did a lot of talking in the video and lo and behold, I come back to find that I had not even turned the freaking camera on. So, I don't even remember everything I said, but here we go. So after my ride with the curved throttle, my experience with it was like freaking amazing. I mean, there is there is so much comfort comfort in this 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 throttle design that it's it's amazing. And even the response, like right now I'm in gear mode two. I have eco on. Normally, whenever I uh, whenever I'm in this 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 step mode uh, with the finger throttle. Um, just the slightest touch of power would send the torque instantly. But watch how smoothly, watch how smoothly it starts out by just a simple touch on the on that wheel throttle. Look at that. In gear mode two now. And then I can just lay my hands across the top of the wheel and it pretty much maintains a consistent speed. And the same, I can say the same, same also for when it's in gear mode three. Just laying my hand across the top of the wheel and lightly touching it. I'm going to put it in gear mode three and I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a little kick to see how she responds. After I drop my hand, I'm doing up my visor. And I have the DX2 in, in uh, battery save mode too. So I'm only cranking out about 75%, about 75% of its power, just for testing purposes only. Now watch. I'm in gear mode three, and I'm able to lay my finger on the throttle lightly to maintain a reasonable speed. And then if I wanted to, I can just up that speed and go a little faster. See how I'm riding at 38 miles per hour? And then if I wanted to go, then if I wanted to get down on the throttle good, and I'm in eco mode right now. And I'll probably turn it off of eco. I see the popo and so I go off to the side to make it look like I'm doing a little cruise on this golf like this golf court like <laughs> scooter and this is the golf court over here look at how I'm cruising at 11 miles per hour with this wheel and I'm in and I'm in three. I'm in step mode three. I'm on slightly bouncy, slightly bouncy terrain, but yet I'm able to just lay my finger across the top of the throttle without an overwhelming response.
This wheel, this wheel is amazing. Back on the road. Popo's gone. And this time I'll probably take it off of a... Let's take it off Eco. Let's give it a good air and out. I don't know how fast I'm riding. All I know is that I'm riding fast. This baby just wants to go. She wants to go. She wants to go, 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 go. Okay, I'm in all power mode. I was never able to ride down through here on full power mode without spinning out of control after I touched the power. And now look at this. This throttle is amazing. Works well, very well. That was awesome. This throttle was freaking amazing. So I think this throttle was the best thing I could have added on to the Dualtron X2. And if you're wondering if you can put this throttle on your on your scooter. I think this I think this throttle basically fits on any electric scooter just as Rion Motors advertise. Um, the only thing different about this uh, only thing different about this uh, about the Rion curved throttle um, in comparison with other standard throttles that you can just buy to add on to your scooters is that uh, is that the wiring the wire color is different but that's not a biggie either because the brown wire is your signal wire uh, wherever your signal wire goes that's where the brown wire goes and the other two wires are pretty much standard the black wire your negative wire and the red wire your positive wire so i mean if if you are familiar with uh where your house sensor is located if you are familiar with the um, the the capacitors or those uh, right behind where the hall sensor is located, those two little blocks that are sitting on your circuit board, um, they they uh, the first one on the left right side is where your signal wire is connected on its head. At the at the outside, and then that same compass uh, that same capacitor, the butt end of it in the middle, is where the negative lead connects, and then the far left side of the second capacitor that's sitting right beside it is where your positive lead goes, and so. If you're, you probably, know, if, if you've uh, opened up your Mini Motors display or, or any type of display, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, who is this, uh, 
who is this throttle for? This throttle is for, to me, a person that likes the feel of having a full grip on the steering on the on the on the on the steering column. Uh oh, let me turn this thing off of kickstart. Put it on kickstart. And even then, I just bumped, I just bumped, I just bumped it lightly. And look at that. Look at that. Very responsive without going all out of control. See, if that was the finger throttle, if I just tapped it like that, she'd be trying to, pew, she'd be trying to leave here. So, as I was saying earlier, uh, my seal up job is still drying and, I, and I'll probably do a little light film over it, but I got some uh, three pin pigtail connectors coming in. I, 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 I partially wired that up and, uh, and, and put a zip tie around it so that I could go back later and, and put my other connectors on there. And then I just also wanted to experiment with those shrink wrap, uh, with those shrink wrap soldering tubes there with the solder on the inside of them to see how they work. And uh, they work pretty good. They work pretty good. I just didn't like the amount of heat I had to put on, the, put on them uh, to, to get that solder to melt. And then finally when it started melting, it looks like it wanted to run a little bit. But I got my wire saturated. I got a good connection. So as you can see, I was able to ride uh, with the uh, with the with the throttle. There's a lot of pollen out here, so I just wanted to do a follow up on how everything turned out with my Rion Curve throttle. And um, if you don't have good soldering skills, um, I wouldn't take a chance because that was uh, that was the only thing. That was the only pickle that I ran into during this whole project. Um, not knowledgeable about how much heat I could actually apply to the circuit board of the display. And, uh, and, and also not realizing what connections, where my connections lead it to. Because my connections, they lead it to those two little small ceramic capacitors that I was talking about er er earlier. And, and I applied just enough heat. It only takes two seconds if you got your iron set at about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It only takes about two seconds for everything that's connected to that connector to feel the heat. And so I put enough heat to those little legs after I cut the hull sensor off so that it melted the solder that was holding those ceramic capacitors to the circuit board. And they just, they just slid off of their connection and I didn't even pay any attention to it because I wasn't familiar with uh, the leads that fed the, wiring, the wires that connected the throttle. And so, that was my inexperience with soldering that that caused me to miss that and then i tried to take it to someone to get them to solder it on for me it, actually a tv repairman and uh come to find out the tv repairman he wasn't familiar with this type of a uh, this type of device and so his what he did is completely remove those ceramic capacitors and just wired the wires to the connectors where the capacitors were located. And so I let him do it, not realizing what he had done until after it was over. And then I put it on the scooter. It didn't work. I still paid him. And I said, damn, I think I just damaged I, or destroyed my display. And so I called Cooper up at Mini Motors and... Um, and had and, and and told them that I was just going to order two. I ordered two displays. I was my my goal was to use one to do a clean install of this curved throttle on a new display, and the other one I was going to have it for backup in the event that something malfunctioned and this uh, throttle no longer continued to work with the uh, with the display. And that way I, I that way I have a you know, I could go back to my throttle and no problem You know, so I have two displays that are actually coming today 
And, um, <laughs> and I've already figured out how to fix this one. And, you know, and what I did is I had, I had some old circuit boards laying around and I just looked at some of the pictures that I took when I first opened up the display to see what type of capacitors were inside the ceramic capacitors were located inside on the circuit board. And um, and when I found two that matched the ones that were in here, uh, I looked up a couple of videos on how to how to solder them back to the circuit board. You know, so I got some, uh, you know, some solder wick and, you know, a solder sucker and I sucked up all the old solder. I cleaned up the board, did a little light brush with a, br uh, did a little light scrub with a brush. And, and after that, man, I think I probably tried for about 30 minutes to get those two tiny ceramic capacitors on that circuit board and then drop a smidging, uh, not drop but heat up the end of the um, heat up the end of the ceramic capacitors so that they could absorb a dot of solder because my my biggest mistake from the start was trying to drop solder on the things and I was creating a cold connections and so I was thinking that it didn't work and then I had and then I went and got a voltmeter so that I could make sure that I didn't damage the rion curved throttle so I had to go through the process of learning what to connect to test the throttle, which was really not difficult. Uh, to test the throttle, Rion curve throttle, all you have to do is, okay, she's off now. So all you have to do is, is, is get you a, a battery, get you a battery um, that's, get you a battery connection of up to five volts. Uh, I wouldn't go over five volts because you could possibly damage the hall sensor on the inside of the throttle by trying to test it with, with something over five volts. So what I did is I, 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 I got a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of these signals on the outside of my fence here so that that sensors, so that I can know when someone pulls up in my yard. Well, I had some old ones in the house and I just pulled the battery pack off of those and I got some half dead batteries, uh, four of them and put them in there until I equated up to about five uh, volts even with the older batteries because newer batteries really will take you over six volts. So I took that pack, I cut the wires on the uh, pack and then I connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative on the house, on the, um, on the throttle. And then I took in, um, and then I connected my, my, uh, my negative to the negative wire on the throttle and then I connected the signal wire which is the brown wire to my positive on my voltmeter and then I connected the negative on my voltmeter to the negative on the throttle and whenever I and whenever I compress the throttle full whenever I compress the throttle full or roll the roll it roll it to its end it showed a perfect 5.01 volts. So that let me know that my throttle had not been damaged in my trying to, you know, install it and that everything was still in working order. But this thing is like butter smooth. Well, with that, I did more talking in a video than, uh, than I like to do. And matter of fact, there's one more thing I want to see. I want to see how it feels to ride it with my bare hands since I had gloves on the whole time here. So let me give it a shot here. Okay, let me let me gear it down a little bit here. Let me put it on uh, one. I'll put it on one. Keep it on eco. Same thing, I can lay my finger right across the top of it. I can lay my finger right across the top of it. And I don't have it on Eco now. I got it in one off of Eco. And this baby is like, 
I, it's controllable. Just to show you what will happen if I had the throttle on. This is what will happen when I had to, if I had the throttle on. Throttle was even trying to, the throttle was even trying to hold the dude's trying to X2 back. It's trying to hold it back whenever it's in lower, whenever you have that lower touch on it. And you can tell that the dual Tron X2 is like, you can tell that the DX2 is fighting it. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, untie me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome throttle. Awesome throttle. I definitely recommend this throttle. An amazing job on the, on the, um, design of the throttle the responsiveness of it um everybody a lot of people saying that it's like the boosted rev i don't know about the boosted rev wheel throttle i don't i've never tried it i don't know anything about boosted rev i wasn't into the school i wasn't into the pev community when boosted rev came out but what i will say is in my book this is a unique piece of art and it and it's designed and crafted in such a way that it's a great addition to my Dualtron X2, uh, and 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 for that I give Rion Motors uh, a thumbs up. You know, um, I would love to uh, I would love to get one of their RE90 scooters or the Rion Thrust scooter as a as a addition to my enjoyable scooter riding experience but at this time i'm just getting the dualtron x2 and so i'll be enjoying it for a little while longer before i before i contemplate or think about possibly owning that machine but there's a possibility that i might i might jump that way possibly next year around this time so with that, I'm out and thank you guys for watching.